And so our next um, person is Rena. Is Rena here? Yes. Okay, Rena. Let's do it, Rena. Hi. So um, I have about two poems, two kind of short ones. Um, the first one is kind of a, about like a breakup, you know, and goes like a really bad breakup. Of. And the second one's for my mom. So this is the first one, Scabs. I never stop bleeding. I'd wake in the night clawing at my scabs, hoping to find you curled up in one of them. My skin always itchy, my wounds always raw. One night, I felt your name scratch its way up my throat, forced myself to choke on it, swallowed you whole into my desolate lungs, dusty from not having echoed your name, told the cobwebs to catch you as you fought your way out to catch the memories. To catch the name my breath clenched onto, my tongue's been dry. I never utter your name, craves you like it's trapped in a bottle out of sea, surrounded, surrounded by timeless salt water, to surrounded by endless salt water tears. The salt stings the wounds too, keeps running to them like I tried to run to you a little slower than you did from me. I think they're trying to tell me something. Probable truths like how horrid you were for me, how much pain you caused without even trying, how maybe if I stopped picking at the scabs long enough to let myself heal, the salted memories would incinge at the edges, but I keep picking at the scabs, they've grown into lesions, I'm covered in them, I'm a huge gaping sore and eye sore. You can't tell where the skin ends and the scars begin. I can't identify where you first stabbed me and I began to stab myself. I keep trying to pick you out of my scabs of you, out of my blood. I don't think I'll ever stop bleeding. Um, this one is called for mom. Cuts my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry mom. I'm sorry I couldn't save me from myself. I'm sorry for my tears dripping through the phone, crawling into your ears, pouring out from your eyes, yours and mine in a synchronized unison. I'm sorry I turned you into a gardener, weeding out the parts of me that ate me alive, plowing away at the acid muck I'd adopted as my skin, the parts of me I thought were too ugly to turn towards the light. You shone a torch on. You showed me we're beautiful. You turned them over and blew kindness into them. Place your seed of love in the hole left in my chest and cried hope onto it to order it. With fingers interlocked from a continent away, praying it would grow. I'm sorry I hurt you with my pain. Made you feel like you'd failed, made you feel like there was nothing you could do. I'm sorry I wasn't strong enough to save myself, but I'd be even more sorry if I didn't have you. Because you saved me. You saved me every day. 